The Safe Schools Louisiana app by Crime Stoppers is a way for students to anonymously report threats, drugs, bullying, sexting, suicidal thoughts, and dangerous activity on and around their campuses. Danielle Bennett has a middle school teen and she can't wait for the app to be available for her. It'll help these kids know that they, they do have a voice. They can be heard without having to say their name because, you know, that is, I, I just remember from 30 years ago, you know, if somebody said something, if I said something, it always came back on me. So I know that that would help it in that term of being anonymous. Megan Adam is also a mom to a middle schooler. She likes the fact that the reporting is anonymous. I think um, students are a little leery to actually call people out for things that they do. Um, and I think an app where they can anonymous, anonymously do that would greatly help them. Rapids Parish School Board Executive Assistant Superintendent of Administration Clyde Washington is overseeing the program as it rolls out in Rapids Parish. I think the program gives the kids it gives kids a voice. It gives them the opportunity to uh, to communicate something that has been uh, brought to their attention. The app is currently live at Bolton High, Peabody High, Brain Middle School, and Arthur F. Smith Middle Magnet. It will soon be available for Alexandria Senior High and Pineville High School. State Superintendent Dr. Cade Bromley says that most of the time, students know in advance when an incident is about to occur. Overwhelmingly, um, when something bad has happened at a school, such as a shooting, uh, someone has known that something wasn't right in advance of that happening and, and did not report. And so we simply want to take this opportunity uh, to provide an easy resource Greater New Orleans President and CEO Darlene Kuzanza said this tool will allow tips to be shared when students hear of information from each other. I mean, what we know from Crime Stoppers is that kids tell each other. They talk to each other about what they're hearing and what their plans are. In suicide threats, 67% of the kids who are threatening suicide or self-harm, they're going to tell their friends before they tell them an adult. Only 7% of tips reported have dealt with guns, knives, or shooting threats. Most of the tips reported, 32%, have been bullying, cyberbullying, or harassment. Bennett says the app will allow reporting about incidents that happen on social media. I didn't really have to worry about cyberbullying back in my day because we didn't have social media and we didn't have cell phones. It was a lot calmer back then, but you know, we have to adapt to the times. And uh, I feel like this is going to help so many children, especially in junior high. Joel Massey, ABC 31 News that works for you.